Hey guys, I'm going to be talking about refresh tokens and in particular the secret that you use to sign them. So I'm going to show you how to keep a secret per user. Now this is something that is really useful because it allows you to revoke the tokens for a particular user. Now I've done this in the past where I've kept a secret per user before um, based on the password. So I would take the password and I would use that to sign the refresh token. So whenever the user would reset their password, it would automatically change the hash of the password. And so all the tokens that were signed using the old password are immediately invalidated. So if I was signed in on my phone and I re changed my password, I would get signed out on my phone, even though I might have made that change on my computer. Now, in today's video, we're going to be doing keeping a secret per user in the database table itself. So right here you see I have a refresh secret um, and I'm keeping a UUID and the default value here auto will populate this for us so we don't even have to worry about it. And the reason why you might want to keep the secret here in the table is because it allows you to revoke it at any time, not just when the user types in a password, but let's say I want to revoke the password, um, or not the password, revoke the secret uh, or the tokens when the user you know upgrades their account or maybe their subscription has um, the 30 days have run out and you want to be able to just revoke that secret right then um, and have the user get new basically t tokens or whatever so there's multiple reasons of when you'd want to revoke a token or maybe you get an email from a user and they're like my account got hacked you could just go into the database, change the secret for them, and they're safe. Now the other reason why you might want to use this is with OAuth. So if, you're, if you use OAuth to log in for your um, website, you don't have a password for that user, right? They're logging in with Facebook. So you would want to use this, or else there's no other way to revoke the tokens if you're using the password. So let's look exactly how this works. So I'm getting storing the secret here, and it's getting auto-populated. And if I pop over here to my index page, um, this is where I'm actually creating the tokens after the user logs in. So for example, I'm gonna take you through how OAuth works. So first they're gonna go to F login, which is Facebook login. After they get logged in and we create a user for them, they are gonna come to this callback URL. Now when they come to this callback URL, we're gonna create a refresh token for them and a regular token. And you'll notice over here what I'm doing is I'm actually using the secret. This is the regular secret to sign this token and the refresh secret that I'm getting from the user. So this is the user from the database um, right there. So pretty nifty. So that's what we're using to create that. So if I come over here to create tokens, you'll notice I'm just using the secret that I use. Secret two, I'm using to sign the refresh token and the first secret to sign the regular token. So the refresh secret is used to sign that token right there. And so when I create the, you know, when I'm creating the token for the Facebook auth, I also want that to match up when they do it for uh, logging in with a username and password. So I'll show you that as well. But you'll notice how I'm redirecting them to the front end, and I'm also just passing the token and refresh token so they have those and can they can, the front end can save that in local storage. So adding user, I'm calling this function called refresh token. So let's look at that. So when I'm refreshing tokens, what I'm doing is I'm making sure the refresh token is valid. So first I decode the token, grabbing the ID, and then I'm just fetching that user, and now I have the user associated with that refresh token. And I verify that the token is all good. And to do that, I'm using the refresh token, a refresh secret right here, that I actually got from the user that I got from the database. And then I'm creating the tokens. And again, you'll see I'm calling that same function I called up here, create tokens, passing in the refresh secret and the refresh secret here as well. And this is the one coming from the database. And then in try login, when I am creating the tokens again, I'm also using refresh secret. So basically, I'm just passing the secret that I'm using, I'm storing in the database right here whenever I sign create the tokens. So let's see this in action. So over here, I'm gonna go ahead and click 
Well, before I click login with Facebook, I want to show you guys the database. So right now there's no users in it. I just selected all from my users table. And you notice here's the refresh secrets token column that we created. I'm going to go ahead and click login with Facebook. We authenticate, we come to this page, we can see our tokens up here. I'm also saving them in local storage. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just select it again. And we can notice here is our refresh, refresh secret. So let's just see what's going on with that. If I come over here to my application, I can just copy this secret or this token. And of course, this is the invalid one, invalid secret. But if I were to say copy and paste the refresh secret here, it would be valid and bam. So you can see this token was created with this secret right here. So now whenever I wanted to invalidate this token that this user has, I would just update this secret in the database. So bam, I just got rid of a character. Now it's invalid. So anywhere in my resolvers over here, let's say, you know, for whatever reason, after I create a book, I would like to log the user out basically. Well, I just come over here, I say models.user.update, and I just set the refresh secret um, to a new UID. So, and then you call your new, whatever function you use to create a new UID. You just set a new one and then automatically they're logged out in the new secret. So if you had a log out resolver, you could do that too to log them out. So that's pretty neat. So that's what I would recommend if you're using OAuth is to store the secret here. Or if you want more, you know, like I said, if you want to be able to revoke the basically the tokens of that user whenever you want to, it's more powerful to store this data this in the database than just to use the password. Um, as the secret. But what I like about the password and the reason why I want to show that as well is because, hey, it's one less column in your database, right? You know, one column is not that much, but it is a trade off. So you're storing a little bit more data in your database for this refresh secret, but with that, you get more um, stuff. You get more flexibility, more power. But if you want to just use the password, you can, but you're limited with what you can do but you don't have an extra field in your database. So it's a trade-off. More often than not though, I'd recommend using the refresh secret here because it's not that much extra space. One column is not that bad. And a lot, being able to revoke it whenever you want is very powerful and very helpful. So this code is up on GitHub. Thanks for watching guys. The link will be in the description below and I'll see you in the next video.